seven tips to make working from home work for you. Right now, Aussies across the country are having to stay home to work and study, including me. So I've put together a quick guide on how to set yourself up and how to make working from home work for you. First up, find your place to study or work. Considering you're gonna be there for most of the day, you wanna try and find somewhere that's nice and bright. That way you're not having to strain your eyes and you can still get a bit of vitamin D, which is very important. Once you've got a spot, it's time to think about the E word, ergonomics. Ergonomics is all about arranging your workplace so that it's comfortable and it suits you. Let's start with posture. Your back should be straight and you should adjust your chair height so your elbows are 90 degrees to the table and your feet are touching the ground. If you don't have a chair that goes up and down, you can chuck a pillow on it and some books or paper under your feet. If you're using a screen, try to keep it about an arm's length away so your eyes aren't straining. You also want the top of the screen to be at eye level so your neck's not stuck in a weird position. If you're using a laptop, your best bet is to treat it like a screen so you're not constantly hunched over, which can lead to a sore back. Trust me, I've been there and it's not fun. I'd recommend grabbing a cheap mouse or a keyboard. You can find them in heaps of places these days, especially online if you don't want to venture outside. You can even do all of this with a tablet, although you may need a dongle depending on what type you have. Tip number three, manage your time. To-do lists are your friend. Every day, write yourself a list of things you need to do and give yourself a fair time to knock each of the items off. It'll help you get organized, keep you on track and make your day feel rewarding. If possible, use the principle of worst first. Knock off the least exciting things on your list first so that way your day gets better as it goes. All right, you've been working hard for ages and your brain is starting to turn into mashed potatoes. Well, good news. Experts say taking a break every hour is very important. It's a chance to stretch, get a drink, have some food and recharge so you're ready to get stuck in again. When you're working hard, think of your body like a car racing at high speeds. When it starts to run out of petrol, the car slows down until it stops and you wake up two hours later with ink on your face. One tip, and I know it sounds ridiculous, is to start every day by dressing up like it's a normal day as if you're going to school or work. Wearing a uniform while you're alone all day might make you feel like a weirdo, but it'll get you in the right mindset to work and be a constant reminder that you should be working. Plus, you'll look and smell a lot nicer than you would in those dirty PJs you probably should have washed about two weeks ago. Okay, so you're set up and you're looking great, but you're still having problems concentrating. One of the biggest problems about working at home is all of the things that would usually distract you on a normal day. What you can do is try to put your phone away, get off of social media, and avoid watching anything on streaming sites or YouTube. Unless it's a video by us, we're fine. If you're still struggling, see what you can do offline. Print off some things to do, dust off the old pen and paper, and get stuck in. Now, if you ask me, this is the most important step. Get yourself a work assistant. Ideally, one you don't have to pay. Mine accepts treats, pats, and lots and lots of attention. Olive here helps me pace while I think, listens to me brainstorm, and regularly destroys my socks. Okay, so this step probably isn't as important as the others, but if you are in a position to responsibly adopt a rescue, like Olive here, give it a crack. A lot of animal shelters are having a tough time at the moment because of how COVID-19 is affecting them. Plus, you can get yourself a little assistant that will help keep you company during the day and stop you from getting too lonely. Good girl. Finally, and this is actually the most important tip, is you need to look after yourself. Being stuck inside all day, especially if you're alone, can be tough. And you can't be efficient if you're anxious, upset, tired, or overworked. So, after a long day, make sure to check in with friends and family to see how they're going. Have a laugh and try to talk about something non-COVID related. I know it seems tough, but non-COVID related things still exist in the outside world. But what if you're feeling extra stressed during the day? Well, why not take a break to chat with someone? However, if there's no one you really feel comfortable talking to, you could always try something like Kids Helpline or Beyond Blue. Now, to recap the seven steps. Find yourself a nice spot. Make sure it's comfortable if you're gonna be there all day. Organize yourself and manage your time. Take regular breaks. Dress to impress, even if you're just impressing yourself. Get rid of any distractions that might be throwing you off track. See if you can get yourself a furry assistant. And most importantly, look after yourself. Just remember, we're all in this together.